Well, today you're in for a treat. You are in the car with me as we drive around to what I think is a really beautiful home. I know you're gonna love it. But if you've watched enough of my videos, you know and I know that when you buy a home and when you move into an area, I mean, you want more than just bedrooms, bath, and square feet. You wanna know the lifestyle of living your life in a particular area. So today, I'm gonna to share with you an area that, well, it's country living. It is for people who definitely want to unplug from the bigger cities. But you know what? When you unplug, you can just plug back in. But somewhere where you can go home and enjoy the peace and relaxation after a really busy day. And in this town, and there's a lot of history there, I'm gonna serve it up on a silver platter. We're gonna take a look at the town, Dish, Texas. Are you ready? Now this is the part where we pause for our station identification. Hi, I'm Tracy Sorrell with the DFW Life and I help people just like you move in and around our Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. And what I realize is that, you know, moving, that could be the easy part. The idea that you're gonna pack up and go somewhere new. The part that's not so easy is where you decide to live your life once you get here. What I like to do is share the lifestyle of a community. I know that you can, you know, bedrooms and baths, you can find that out online. But what you may not know are some of the things to do, some of the crime rates and the different things that you find important when you want to call a place home. Hey, if this is your first time to this channel, do me a favor, subscribe below, press the bell, give me a like, and you'll be notified anytime anything is going down around town, around our Dallas, Fort Worth Metroplex. Now, back to the video. Well, let me give you a little history about the town of Dish. I think you're gonna find very interesting. Well, in the year 2000, Ellie Clark, the mayor, the town was named after him. So that tells you how new it is that a town could be named in the year 2000. Well, somehow in 2005, there was a deal to be had, a deal agreed upon, a deal struck. Dish Network, they were able to convince, get a deal done, where the town was changed from Clark to Dish. So that it's Dish, Texas. Now here is what I am told of the agreement is. That if the town agreed to be renamed Dish for 10 years, they would receive free Dish services. And I believe they got some kind of video or at that time, I don't know if it was still VHS, but some, they got another deal to go along with the 10 years of free service. So that's your little cheat sheet on how the town Dish got its name. Now, speaking of towns, because remember I didn't say the city, Dish has a population of 544 people, not 544,000. 544 people so everyone knows everyone so if you want that real community feel this is the place this is the place for you well in this video we're gonna drive around we're gonna take a look at some of the towns that are that's near dish because if it's only 500 people there's not a lot going on in the town so we're going to look at uh justin which is a larger town that you'll go to for sure if you live in dish uh, Ponder is where I'm told that Bonnie and Clyde robbed the bank in the, the town slash city of Ponder. But in Justin, we're gonna spend some time there. I wanna show you around, because it's a really neat city, especially their downtown area. And I hear that they have a really great place, a restaurant for us to try. So uh, we're gonna pull over and have a little food there in this wonderful place. And then I have this gorgeous home that I'm going to show you because that's why you tuned in. You're going to take a look at what I would describe as a mixture of the country lifestyle that you're going to enjoy with the conveniences of the city. And um, I think you're going to really, really, and I want to hear from you. Comment when we do, take the tour of this home. Let me know what particular features you love about it because the people who own the home, they tell me what you're going to love 
especially living there, is the wildlife. You're going to enjoy sitting on the front porch or even on the large covered patio and watching um, you know, jackrabbit, being able to see the hummingbirds and hear the birds chirp, you know, to see the, the blue crane, the geese, the ducks. And I wanna know what, what you like about this home. I love the inside and the outside. There's so much to see. I'm really getting myself geeked up here, but we're gonna take a tour and I wanna hear from you. And once we're done with our tour, we're gonna hop back in the car, head back over to the office and go over a few more things that I think you're gonna find pretty important if you decide to make Dish Texas home but over to the right, you'll be able to see Texas Motor Speedway, which is a track that hosts both NASCAR and IndyCar events annually. And a little bit across the street, if you look through the light over to the left, you'll see a part of Tanger Outlet and a little bit of Bucky's. And we'll talk more about them later in our things to do section. But this area is about 10 miles from Dish. The main street that leads you into Dish is Highway 156, which also leads you through Justin because we're going to go through Justin before getting to Dish. And in Justin, we're going to take a look around. We're going to look at some of the popular places that you will absolutely want to explore if you decide to live in Dish. And we're going to also take a stop to have a bite to eat. This is such a peaceful drive. I mean, you will enjoy this, especially compared to if you were driving into Dallas or Fort Worth or some of our larger cities. You know, it's okay to work there, but I think at the end of the day, after a long day's work, you would love this drive home. Now we're getting close to the home I wanna showcase. I wanna share with you, and I really am interested in seeing what you have in the comments and to know what you think about the setting, the serenity, the backyard, the inside. This home rests on 1.32 acres of Texas paradise. I say paradise because your backyard will absolutely seem therapeutic, just what the doctor orders after a long day. It's a four bedroom, two and a half bath, the game room has a half bath and a door that leads to your backyard. Your relaxing primary suite has, is so large that so you have a seating area. You, you just have so much space. And what better place to just go in after you finish your day, close the door and just escape. This is definitely a destination home because, you know, the holidays, the cookouts, your family and your friends will want to come over and hang out. And you might feel like they're hanging out too much, but certainly this will be a place that everyone would love to gather and create so many great memories. Are you ready to look inside? Let's go. Take a listen to why these homeowners say you will love living here. You come out with coffee in the morning and you watch all the birds fly in and out of the patio and in and out of the flowers and the hummingbirds that come. All, all these hummingbirds are... Monarchs, mm -hmm. monarchs yep. come through here every year. Yep. Don't forget about the ducks and the geese and, and the... the cranes. Uh, cra yeah, the cranes. Lots of cranes. Let me tell you, a Saturday night in the pool, all the lights, different color lights it has and the spa and we we enjoy it no one's butted up nope. against us we have total privacy in our yard we have total privacy my workshop is definitely my man cave so <laughs> it's a 30 by 50 you'll never have any anybody back behind you so so those people who like to go skinny dipping can certainly go skinny mm. dipping <laughs> <laughs> you could you could you definitely could Now that we finished touring the home, don't forget to comment and let me know which place and which space you like best. But we're gonna head over to Justin. This is where we're gonna get out and take a tour of one of the areas that I think is going to be a place that you definitely want to visit. And of course, you're gonna have people over, your guests over, they wanna go and see it too. And we're also gonna grab a quick bite to eat. John Justin is the founder of Justin Boot Company and he started in Fort Worth. We are Justin Discount Boots. We opened in the mid to late 50s as a salvage company originally. We sold everything from diapers to canned goods to wedding dresses to caskets. Um, in the mid to late 70s, our owners 
Frank and Toots, they got into uh, cahoots with John Justin, who was the founder of Justin Boot Company, and decided to create somewhere that irregular boots could come. By the early 90s, they dismantled the salvage company and decided to go full-blown Western. But since we were a salvage company, we kept a lot of the memorabilia. So if you go through the other stores, you'll see lots and lots of farm equipment. There is a really, really old casket um, computing scale that was um, made in 1895. So that's on display. And then over the years, we have expanded on the brands that we have sold. So. That's Justin Discount Boots in a nutshell. As I was going around Justin and preparing this video for you, I wanted to share with you the things to do. Well, I had a couple of the locals tell me, Tracy, you have to have lunch here. And there are a number of great diners to try out in Justin. So I decided to try this one because like you, I could not resist some good old fashioned home cooking and the food did not disappoint. So I know where you're thinking, oh my gosh, Tracy, I can't wait to move to Dish, Texas. And this is the part where I'm gonna share with you some more things you can do in and around Dish. Now, if you recall, Dish is 544 people strong. And chances are, you might wanna go and explore some things outside of Dish and outside the surrounding areas to Dish. Well, this is where we're going to pull out the map and I'm going to really show you some different things you can do, enjoy, go and explore in and around DISH and mostly outside of DISH. Let's take a look at the map. Justin is about 3.8 miles away from DISH. And Justin, that's where we had the nice lunch and that's also where you have Justin discount boots and cowboy outfitters. Justin is a place that you probably will go or go through to get to so many other places in our Metroplex. You also have Ponder, and Ponder is a little bit further away from Dish than Justin. Ponder is about four miles, maybe 4.2 miles from the city of Dish. And remember, Ponder is where it said that Bonnie and Clyde robbed one of the banks there in Ponder. And there's probably not very many banks. I'm assuming maybe just one or two. But the main bank um, in Ponder is where Bonnie and Clyde have been said to go in and rob the place. And you'll notice on this map, you have I-35. So I-35 is a major thoroughfare that's gonna take you to quite a few places. One place you might decide to go is the city of Denton. And the city of Denton is about 16 miles from you. And Denton is where you will have um, the University of North Texas. So you can enjoy quite a bit over there in the city of Denton. And then you have more cities that, I, I, they're still small towns. Argyle is still small. And uh, down below Highway 114, where 114 and 35 meet, and I'll show you that on a different map, that's where you have a lot of fun that's starting to converge on you. But that area is about 10 miles away from the town of Dish. So again, Texas Motor Speedway is about 10 miles away from Dish. And that is where you're going to see the NASCAR driving. You're going to be able to see a lot of the race cars. That's a lot of fun to be had. If you have never gone to a racetrack, NASCAR, or the Speedway, you absolutely, how can you live that close and not go and explore Texas Motor Speedway? And right across the street from Texas Motor Speedway is Bucky's. And Bucky's is like the adult playground. I mean, when you pull up to a Bucky's, it's almost as if you're in a whole different world. First of all, you're gonna see bays and bays and bays of gasoline pumps. And then inside, you're gonna see something that looks, well, rather remarkable. You're gonna see all kinds of candies, fudge, uh, barbecue, household equipment. I mean, it's just, listen, I cannot give Bucky's justice with my description. You will have to go and explore and experience the world of Bucky's. And then you're also really close to Tanger Outlet Mall. So if shopping is your thing, then you should be able to find some, well, a good deal over there at the Outlet Mall. And I know that maybe, you know, you like the country lifestyle, but you like a little more sophistication and maybe the Outlet Mall is not your thing. Well, you're only a few miles from the city of South Lake, and South Lake is what we describe as the Beverly Hills of Texas. So you can get some more upscale, unique shopping there. And you're going to also want to go to the city of Fort Worth. Fort Worth is about 30 miles 
from DISH. And Fort Worth is also where you can get a lot of exclusive shopping in. West Fork, which is a shopping center in the city of Fort Worth, that's where you're gonna get, if you like the Louis Vuitton, the Chanel's, and those really luxury brands, Neiman Marcus, and nice dining, you're gonna find that there. And Fort Worth is also, well, you're gonna like this, that's where we celebrate our Western culture, where you'll see real cowboys on real horses riding those real horses down the street. We have Sundance Square, we have the stockyards, and that's where you're gonna also see Dickie's Arenas, where you'll see the rodeos. And not only are you gonna have the Western atmosphere in Fort Worth, but there is tons of sophistication right there in the city of Fort Worth. And you have to go to Fort Worth Zoo because Fort Worth Zoo is one of the top ranked zoos in our entire country. And let's say, you know, well, you know, I live in Dish and I have a, a, quite a bit of a taste for a Western and that country lifestyle. You know what? I think I'm going to drive a little farther out. I'm going to go to a real populous city. You're going to head over to Dallas. And Dallas is about 45 miles away from Dish. And trust me, you're going to want to pay for a toll pass or some way to get on our paid roads because if you just drive, 45 miles, that 45 miles is gonna feel more like two hours one way. So we really advise you to go ahead and take advantage of our toll freeways. So in Dallas, as you can expect, is a plethora of sophistication, experiences with museum, fashion, shopping, so much history in the city of Dallas. Now Dallas is a fast, fast paced place to be, but you know what, guess what? Knock yourself out, run around in Dallas, and then come back home and relax. And if for some bizarre reason you decide you wanna leave the state of Texas, I don't know why, you're only less than one hour from the state of Oklahoma. You could be over at Windstar Casino in a, just in a matter of minutes. And that's where you can go see the shows, you can have the nice buffets, and of course it is a casino, so you know, if you decide to play a few games, you certainly can. Whatever happens in a casino stays at the casino. And once you get tired of Oklahoma, which is really a nice state to visit, come on back home to Texas. And there are a couple of lakes you can enjoy. Lake Ray Roberts, which is a state park, and you can also go to Lake Grapevine. So if you have a boat or you just want to get out and enjoy the water, well, we've got you covered here in Dish because you're just a short drive from either of those two major lakes. And for a smaller feel, you have to go to Roanoke. Roanoke is our unique food capital of Texas. And while you're at the lake, you know, Lake Grapevine, you might stop by, especially during the holidays because that's the Christmas capital of Texas. Now let's talk about education, because if you have a family that you brought along with you and you have school-aged children, then schools are probably pretty important to you. The students who live in DISH attend Ponder ISD. Now Ponder ISD is a small school district because there's just not a very many people out there. So you can go to great schools or you can go to NISH. And some families, just like anywhere in the Metroplex, to be honest, send their children to private schools or to charter schools. So just to let you know that Ponder ISD is where your student would naturally go to school, but there's so many options with private schools, academies, collegiate schools that your student could go to. So you might wanna explore that even more. Now, crime rate is important to a lot of people because, you know, whenever you move to a new place, you kind of want to know that. Well, as you probably suspect, the crime rate is not very high in DISH. Remember, there's only 544 people. So that's really what I would call, well, crime prevention on 2.0 because everyone knows everybody. So if all of a sudden someone shows up with a plasma TV or whatever big screen, 100 inch TV or whatever, and they're like, wait, wait a minute, wasn't that in so-and-so's house? We know that they're missing their TV, but it may not be that extreme. I mean, people may not know everything about everyone, but it is a very small community and they do, this is a good thing, they do keep an eye out for each other. You actually get to know each other. And that's something that you just don't find in some of our bigger cities. So I would say that is a plus. If I can give it a check, that would be a check for Dish Texas. 
Hi, I'm Tracy Sorrell with the DFW Life. Thank you for joining me for this video and discovering Dish, Texas. Hey, if you're thinking about Dish, Texas or one of our smaller communities and you're thinking about making this place your home, do me a favor, comment below, give me a call, message me. Let's get together and realize if Dish, Texas is the best place for you to create your memories and call home.